All right, welcome back to Active Be Outdoors. We're out here trying the pompano fishing again. It's the beginning of March and the bite is starting to pick up. There's a lot of guys catching this stuff out here. So I'm just east of Opal right now. I found a nice little spot with some good structure. I see waves breaking here. They got waves breaking over here. And then I got this little hole right here that I'm gonna fish in. So hopefully today is gonna pan out. I've been out here quite a few times. If it doesn't, I don't know, my next video might be a giveaway. I'm giving away all my surf fishing stuff. But hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I get into them today. I got the drone out too, so I'm gonna use the drone. Maybe find some other good areas to move to if this one doesn't pan out. So you guys stick around, it's gonna be a great video, hopefully. And today's bait of choice. I was out here yesterday fishing. Ended up catching some sand fleas. Put them in here in my, my thing with some sand. They lasted the night, they're still a little bit alive. So I'm gonna use those at first. I'm gonna try to find some fresh sand fleas and then we're gonna tip it with a whole bunch of uh, different flavors of fish bites. If you guys don't have one of these bags for your pompano rigs, I guarantee you might want to go get them. Or Justin Reed from Justin Reed Fish and turn me on to them. They're definitely the way to keep all your tackle organized. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to follow. But here's all my, my fish bites and fish gum. I got the old blue crab, got some pump candy. We're gonna do a, a smorgasbord. We're gonna do a whole bunch of different flavors to see what's biting. So that's enough talking. Let's get these things rigged up and get them out of the water. There's my first setup double dropper pompano rig that I tied myself. Got uh, some blue crab on that one and then some purple peri nickel, nickel something or other on that one with some sand fleas. We're gonna throw this guy right out there. Not too far out. So you see those waves out there on the second sandbar. And then it kind of just dies out right here, closer to shore. We might just chuck this one out, get it past that second sandbar. See what happens. All right, second one. This is my shorter rod. This is my pin slammer inshore. So I'm gonna throw this one real close to the shore. This one is just gonna sit right here in this hole. Right about there. That looks good. Where's the girls? We got our first one, he was up close. Come on, be a pompano. Not even in the water. Three seconds. Yeah, boy. Come on, be my first pump. Tell me he didn't come off. He did. That could have been my first pump, boys, but we know where they're at. Wait, oh, shoot. They might be on all kinds of fire today. This one's out deep. Steady pressure. He's on there. Boys, I'm excited. Hopefully this is working out. This one's not fighting very hard. Oh, he's got a little fight to him. Come on. This might be the perfect spot, boys. Get him up on shore. Yeah, boy, first pompano. Look at him coming in, boys. Oh, man. I've been working for these guys for so long. I've been working for them for so long. Look at him. Oh, I gotta send this to the boys. I gotta send this to... Boy, he is a nice pump. I gotta send that to the boys. Sorry guys, I ain't talking to you guys right now. I gotta get this stuff back in the water. I gotta send this out. Let's measure him. I know he's gonna be legal. 11 to the fork. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. We're at... We're at 14 to the fork, boys. He's going in the cooler. Golly, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm so freaking excited. Uh, where's the boys at? Woo! First flipping pump, boys. Man. 
That's awesome. All right, guys, he's going right back where this one was. Sorry, guys, I ain't selling my surf fishing stuff now. I know I said I was, but I am freaking hooked again. Oh boy, he's in. I haven't even had a chance to get my second rod in yet. He's all hooked up, so I'm gonna throw him in. And then I'm gonna bait up this other one. Man, I put that thing in the sand. Shoot. Seriously, guys, those poles were only in the water maybe two minutes. I'm almost afraid not to even look at it. Listen, huge shout out to Justin Reed Fishing. I tell you what, I've been in contact with him a lot. We, we message back and forth, we're in our own little YouTube channel, group chat, and he's been kind of pointing me in the right direction on how to set up in these surf conditions, where to surf, where to set up, how to find structure. So if you guys haven't seen his channel, I'm sure you get, a lot of you guys have if you're into surf fishing, but he'll put you on the mark. Look at that guy. First freaking Gulf Coast Pompano. I can't even be more excited. If I don't catch another fish today, I don't even care because this is freaking, I've been trying so hard for these guys. I'm telling you what. So, all right, I got all three poles back in the water. But seriously, guys, go check out Justin Reed Fishing if you guys haven't on YouTube. I'll leave his link in the description below. And you guys, uh, you guys want to learn how to read a beach? That guy will teach you how for sure. Man, all right, here we go. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there, Pomp. We're on our second one. He's pulling some drag too. This is a perfect freaking hole, guys. I'm telling you what. I don't even have time to find any more sand fleas. I might limit out before 10 o'clock. Dropped the girls off at the bus stop this morning and said, you know what, I'm gonna go out here and try my luck again with Pompano this morning. Got a nice over, overcast skies. A little breezy this morning. But we're pulling in our second pump right now. Get them out of that water. Right now they're hitting on the pink double dropper rig. He's a little smaller. He might not make the cut, but we're looking for 11 inches at the fork. We'll see. He's probably about a 12. He's probably a 12er. What do you guys think? 12? I'm saying 12 to the fork. Dang, no, he's... He's 13 to the fork, too. He's going in the bag, boys. Golly. That's freaking awesome. I don't even know what to tell you guys. I'm so freaking stoked that Justin Reed and Redbeard taught me was less is more. So you don't want a whole bunch of, I mean, you get away with this little tiny size of my thumbnail piece of shrimp bites. You don't want something big ginormous on there that they can't get in their mouth. You just end up wasting fish bites and your odds of hooking a fish are a lot less. So remember, less is more. So sand fleas, I'm just kind of blind raking for sand fleas coming down into the water line. I did pretty good with it yesterday. I was catching some pretty big boys. There's a couple. Oh, one at least, one little tiny guy.
here's another one. All right. We're into some sand fleas right here, which is why the pompano are here. All right, guys, I tried to get the drone up. And this guy went off again. And this guy's pulling hard. Hopefully, I'll be able to get one of these bites on the drone. It seems like every time I try to do something, a fish comes up, which I ain't complaining about because I'm about to limit out here. I think the limit's four, I'm about to look it up. But this might be number three. Either way, I'll get the drone up so you guys can see the area that I'm fishing in. Another 13 incher. Look at him, boys. Number three. Let's see, he's probably about 12. He looks a little smaller, but I said that last time too, so I ain't really saying it no more. That's how I get him on the eye, get him on the board. Yep, yeah, he's 12. 12 to the fork. In the back. So there's my setup. And here is the structure I'm fishing. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's what it looks like. So you can kind of see the waves breaking over here on the right. And then there's this big hole right here. But there's not a whole lot of action. Got a little bit more break over here on the left. Oh, you can almost see. Might be a little school or something. You guys see that? Man. You guys see that? Man. Hopefully that was on tape. I think I almost took my rod in the water because I was filming a stinking. Man, hopefully my battery doesn't die in that drone. There he is. Almost lost the rod. Trying to film that thing on video for you guys. Man, shoot. I can't even keep him off the line. I think I've just caught up in there. But I better get this thing back down before I run out of battery. You guys see that? That's number three. In the cooler, boys. I'm telling you. This is the way to do it. The battery's dying on this drone, so I gotta get it on the ground. But I'm telling you, this is number three right here, following Justin Reed's method. Seriously, you guys, go check him out because he knows what the heck he's talking about. All right. Woo! All right, guys, remember I said I'm gonna change this one out? That's one that just got hit. Took the time to change out my line to match what they were hitting on on the other ones. And this one got hit. You guys probably saw it from the drone, but I almost lost my flipping saltus rod and reel into the water. Put this one right back out where I had it, not very far out. Right about there. That'll do it.
six is the bag limit, and then we got 11 to the fourth. Oh, here's number four. Number four, boys. Right at 11. That's the keeper pump. Can't keep them off my hooks. This one feels like a lot smaller. He's got a couple little tugs, but he's definitely not tugging like those bigger 13 inchers. Which this guy's gonna be a little one. Or he could be a big one. Or he doesn't have a lot of fight to him. No, he's definitely a small little guy. He's definitely gonna go back to grow up and be big. Can be caught. Still a fun little fish to catch. See you, buddy. Listen, I don't know if they have an effect on it, but the bite turned off. And I think it's all because of those freaking little pot of dolphins out there, right in my freaking, right in my pompano area, and they're scaring away all my fish. I think that's uh, probably what turned off the sticky bite. Alright guys, we haven't had a bite for a couple hours. Those pot of dolphins came in and I think they spooked everything away. But we caught six pompano today. One had to go back in the water because it was only about 8 inches. But we are keeping five of them. One shy of my limit for the day. And they're all about 13 inches. So, it's been a beautiful day. Like I said before, I am blessed to have this in my backyard. Come out here, grab some sand fleas out of the sand, throw them on a hook, throw it on the water, and then catch some dinner. So, don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.